everyone, my name is Melina and today I will be talking about the Studio Improvement Project here at San Jose State University. The overall idea of this project is to create a continuous, welcoming, and engaging environment throughout the entirety of both studio spaces, 240 and 241, for all students and faculty. To start in the most western part of the building, we first walk into the Quiet Zone. The Quiet Zone is a space for students and faculty to quietly work among each other or by themselves. To keep the space quiet and secure, adding felt overhangs, sound absorbing puffs on the glass, and carpet helps to trap the sound which allows for more people to study together all at once. The following room holds our first lecture hall, where teachings are held alongside the active working area. Accessible lockers and cubbies are placed in this lecture hall for students to store their tools and projects safely without taking them home. Being a more talkative space, the suspended ceiling also incorporates sound trapping material throughout the grid and continues on to our second lecture hall. Our adjacent lecture hall is also for lecture and student collaboration, although the space is used for more formal pinups and presentations. This space is able to be closed off completely to other students and faculty for a more private review. Although the space is closed off, the glass wall allows for students to peek through and be mindful of the presentations being held. Onto the more social aspect of the building, the kitchenette allows for students and faculty to prepare and save their food and drinks throughout the work and school day. The social lounge is a space for peers to connect with one another while enjoying their meals, snacks, and drinks. This space is also the divide of both existing studios, which then connects both spaces into a more social and connective environment. The connectivity between the kitchen and the lounge allows for students to flow between both sides of the space, depending on the need or the direction of movement. From the lounge over to the work area, the workspace allows for students to engage and collaborate with one another in or out of class time. Adding an open material lab library allows for students and faculty to have easy access to useful tools or demonstrations for projects. This collaborative space also includes a mock-up board to converse with others before a final presentation. The studio also allows for a large amount of sunlight to enter into the room for a more awake and engaging environment when working on projects in general. When entering in the most northern door, we come to see the walkthrough gallery of students' previous and present work to be recognized and celebrated together. Finally, our backstage studio area holds the high-end equipment for projects as well as the computers and printing station for pinup purposes. The space is kept next to each other as well as away from the lecture halls due to the ongoing noise machines make. The puffs on the glass wall help for sound to not escape this part of the building. And with that, thank you for listening to the Studio Improvement Project.